Hi guys, I'm Carrie Kira Star Ellis, author of the 21st Century Superhuman book series and producer of shows of the same name. Today, I'm gonna share with you some four really key tips for being a 21st century superhuman. And I'm sure you, you're here with me today because today. you wanna know the answers to these things because you're on this path and you are seeking the answers. So I have some really neat, cool, basic tips to share with you. These are, if you follow these, your life will change. And that's what we're about. We're about changing our lives to change the world. So let's just jump in and I'll share with you some really amazing and cool tips on how to be a 21st century superhuman in these times of great change. So tip number one, the great shift is upon us. And I wrote about this in book one, Shift of the Ages. It tells of the end of an age of darkness as predicted by many ancient cultures, including the Mayans. We're at the middle of a 26,000 year galactic cycle. And we're actually in an equal place to where the fall of Atlantis happened. I'm sure you've heard of Atlantis and they were a very advanced civilization. They, they had technology and somehow their technology took them down because they weren't using it with the heart. They were just using it with the mind. So we're kind of at the same level that they were, but when they fell, they went into a 12,500 year age of darkness. And now we are right at the same point as the fall of Atlantis, but we, what we are going into is an age of light. There's more light on the planet and we're actually going into an upward spiral. Amplified light is coming into the planet. It is unstoppable. It is dissolving the shadows and carrying us into an age of enlightenment. So remember what happens when the light comes. It dissolves the shadows. The shadows can't exist anymore. And this is carrying us into a new age. We are also learning to understand how our thoughts create in this quantum reality. And believe it or not, back in the 1800s, some of the first quantum physics understanding was coming forward, but it wasn't really fed to the mainstream population because they weren't ready to understand it. But today we are ready to understand it. Although the world may seem to be in chaos, the dark is disintegrating. It means it can no longer hold form. What happens when the light comes out, the shadows disappear. So a new world is being born. And the big question is, are you on board? Are you educating yourself? Are you activating yourself so that you can really be a participant and not just dreading the change? Tip number two, we are living in times of great change. As in the ancient Chinese saying, may you live in times of great change, which means when chaos appears around us, the pot is being stirred like this beautiful African woman. The pot is being stirred because it challenges everything that's safe and familiar, but it also invites us to take a leap forward. Those who are able to embrace this change in times of great change will succeed at the greatest levels, unthought of levels. And when we embrace it, it births a new level of our being. This is an opportunity for you to express your optimum truth, birth a new level of your being, step into who you really are more than you ever have before and find amazing success in doing that. Positive change comes through the resonance of higher consciousness being embodied by those who are ready. So when we worry about what's going on in the world and we think it ain't it awful, we either choose to focus on that or we focus on the higher consciousness that we can enter into. And it's so important to learn how to do this. And this is what the 21st Century Superhuman books and courses are all about. And 
This is embodied by those who are ready. Sometimes this is called Christed consciousness. I'm sure it may be called Buddhic consciousness. It may be even called other levels of accelerated consciousness. So positive change comes through the resonance of higher consciousness when we embody it. Tip number three, this is, believe it or not, the most powerful time in human history. And you can read about that in book three of the 21st Century Superhuman series called Spirit, Live Your Dreams, Success, Passion, Relationship, Community. No matter who you think you were or what went on in other lifetimes, you are greater now than you were then. There is no time in history more powerful than this moment, now today. To succeed with where we're going, it's important to get that everything is made up of energy and frequency. Have you fully begun to comprehend this yet? Have you really taken it in, digested it, and embodied it? Well, that's what the 21st Century Superhuman series is all about, helping us grasp how that works. Are you resonating these new yet ancient principles? As we master these quantum ideas, we are able to achieve our greatest success. Believe it or not, you can succeed at levels beyond what you have yet imagined. Tip number four, change yourself to change the world. And you will hear me say this over and over and over again. The way we change what's out there is by changing what is in here. Harvard studies tell us that 5% of our thought is conscious, the other 95% is unconscious. And this holds generational thought, life experience thought. It is like defragging a computer. It's essential that we clean out our old data because it is vibrationally running the show, even if we can't see it. This is the study of book two, Mind, in the 21st Century Superhuman series. It's a secret formula for love, health, and abundance. But we only get those when we literally offload that 95% unconscious data. And believe it or not, there is a science to this. It's time to end the blame game. You mean all this is coming from inside of me? All that stuff out there, the other people, the problems in the world, how can this even be possible? All that appears around us or to us is drawn there by our vibration. It's time for us to change that. The matrix can only mirror that which we give it. Wow, is that really possible? And what do I want to see in the matrix around me? Do I want to see war or do I want to see roses? Beautiful white roses like this. As Tony Robbins says, are you going to be one of the many who talk or are you going to be one of the few who walk? This is our walk of mastery. It is called the shift of the ages, and we must give attention to mind, spirit, and body as well. Our book Body is coming back soon. It is being edited right now to include a lot of what's gone on in the last couple of years, and there's going to be some powerful information in that. But for right now, to ramp ourselves up with the shift of the ages, mind, and spirit, and begin that change within. So tip number one is the great shift is upon us. Tip number two, we are living in times of great change. Tip number three, the most powerful time in human history is guess what? Now, no other time. This is the most powerful time in human history because we have the tools to make the change 
at a conscious level. And that is why tip number four is change yourself to change the world. Be a 21st century superhuman. Breathe, smile, and love. Now, if you didn't think we're living in wild times on planet Earth, I don't know what you do think because it really seems like that's true. And every single one of us who's here chose to be here at this time. Isn't that amazing? We each have a sole purpose and mission and journey in getting activated at a greater level, in activating our higher level, our higher dimensions of being, and to become superhumans. So I look forward to you journeying with us as a 21st century superhuman. I look forward to you joining us on the inside. So come with us on this journey immerse yourself in the 21st century superhuman journey get to know how you can be super empowered you have skills that are paranormal you have the ability to really change the world with your mind your heart your body your thoughts so it's time to do it now why wait join us on the inside we look forward to seeing you there Kinda down, and you need some inspiration to remember who you are. Whoa, now, child, please don't frown. You can choose a new vibration, and these words can take you far. I am a 21st century superhuman, and I know that the answers are inside. 21st century suit you